Hello, this is about the uh, blended reflexology course, which is um, a really a exciting development for us. Through lockdown, we realised that we could do a lot of good work via video and Zoom. So we're not suggesting that we're doing all the course like this by any means. But what we're doing is, is um, planning it so that those of you that are really busy um, and can't make regular um, uh, forays into the school for the lesson, then this is the way um, you can do it. And you really need to be a motivated individual that will get on with the work. Because what it is, you come into the school for eight days altogether, and it's two days in March. That's a, a weekend date, Saturday and Sunday. And then two days in May, two days in August, two days in November. And this way, you get input from us. Uh, your tutor will be there with uh, her assistant and I'll be on hand to answer any questions because what you'll be doing is doing a bulk of work at home with the backing of us. You always get plenty of um, support from us no matter what course you do. But with this course, for instance, um, there's a dedicated Facebook group just for the blended learners. And then I can put extra information on there. As soon as people sign up for this, they get sent the anatomy and physiology coursework to do at home. That's got plenty of videos that we've made. There's videos of me talking you through A&P and other of my tutors talking you through A&P so that you can um, start building up your knowledge of it and doing the tests. The exam is done um, during the one of the class dates. Um, it won't be done straight away as soon as you um, come in. It could be taken in May and it could be taken in March if you're ready or, or August. So it'll be ready for when you're ready to take it. Last one will be August. Otherwise, it'll be hanging over you. So we know what's best really for you to get moving with that. We also have got an introductory reflexology course that we will send you. And that it gives an overview of reflexology and you can then start to practice the actual routine on your friends and family. And we'll give you a form to fill in because that will be your evidence. And although you just be practicing on the video that I've done especially for you and talk you through it, you've got words and pictures to help you as well as the videos, you can have a go and you can start building up the number of treatments that you need to provide as evidence because there's 60 to do for extra treatment so you could start those before the course started and if you do one or two a week you can soon get that built up and um, once the course starts your tutor then will talk you through more in depth because there's more to it than you would learn in an introductory uh, course but that is just giving you that introduction and, and, and some knowledge so that you can start thinking, oh, I've got an idea what it's about. And then you'll be amazed how much deeper it goes once you're with the tutor, because she can refine to make sure how you're doing the actual treatment and reinforce what you've been learning at home. So you've got the AMP to, to, to start with. So that's really good. You don't have to wait for the course to start. You can start that now. You've got the practicing on family and friends so straight away pair of feet there you go you can do the children you can do the adults and we talk you through with videos how to do it and in the Facebook group I've, I've put the form on there and anyone can ask questions on there so that you're not ever alone um there's also um uh, two projects that to be completed and that is the business project which covers advertising and marketing which is a really important part of being a therapist because you can't just learn a, a, that skill that skill is really important but you need to have a rounded out knowledge and so there's the business project to complete and also a project about other therapies that's that's important as well because you need to be able to refer people on if you feel that reflexology may be that they might be better with another sort of therapy um, or they might come in and tell you that they've had a treatment and you you really 
to be a good therapist, you have to have a good idea what other therapies can also offer. And um, so that's another project. That's part of the iTech criteria anyway, but we've always taught this because it's it's always been important to have a rounded out education in therapies as well as um, reflexology. So that's the way it works. You get sent a course manual as well before the course starts, and that's divided up into um, sessions. And we will tell you which ones to complete before, say, March, because the tutor will then be able to reinforce what you've done. Say it's about hand reflexology. There's a worksheets in there. You're told exactly what to do and, um, um, and when and, and where to find the answers, because that's important as well, isn't it? We're not just asking you to go out and do lots of research and find out all these things. We, we, we're, this, this is what we're looking for. So you fill in the gaps on the worksheets. And then when it comes to going into the classroom, you know exactly what she's going to cover because you'll be told ahead of time because it's in the front of each section it tells you and also via the Facebook group we'll say right we're going to cover this this and this section um in in the in the these two lessons so then the tutor will be able to ask some questions here here and there um to make sure that you really got it and um make for a good classroom discussion on what would people prefer and when would be a good time to use hand reflexology. We actually teach hand reflexology as part of the, the course. Not every school does. <coughs> Excuse me. You learn the theory usually, but we also teach the actual practical on how to use the hands. There's also, we don't teach you in the school, but there's also facial and ear reflexology. And it can take you wherever you like. The, because there's um, primary care, um, so we, we look at that in the class. There's maternity and fertility. We look at that in the class, but that's a specialism that you might be interested in afterwards. There's pain management. Uh, there's all sorts of things. We don't teach you everything in the class, but we you have a look to see what's available so that you can see where you'd like to specialise or just be a general practitioner. And um, but you learn enough to be able to start your own business and um, and and you're away. How exciting is that? So I hope I've given you an idea of of what happens. Um, total support. And you have the exam with the iTech examiner at the end of the course where she will come in and see you at the school, um, giving treatments to um, your friends and family and not individually, but as a, as a class. And um, she will look at the coursework that you've done. And, um, and that would be it. It's a good professional course done in a different way so that it can suit you and your lifestyle rather than coming to the school once a fortnight. So there you are, take your pick. And we look forward to hearing more. And um, if you want to know any more, just, just let me know.